everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is January 22nd, 2019. And I want to say thank you for your prayers and support for this channel because it has paid huge dividends. Number one, I got the job. They're going to offer, they offered me the job last night. Starting, I will be starting this next Tuesday, seven days from now. It's a pretty cool job. So thank you for that. And thank you for all you donated to this channel because I was able to buy a new mini mixer for this microphone podcast setup to do live streaming on Skype. I'm just a few cables away from setting this up. Hopefully I would go live tonight. I uh, hope I don't have any issues. I want to test it out to make sure we don't get feedback. It's a lot of tweaking with this thing, so be patient. It's coming. And so I want to give a shout-out to three channels. And in the number one channel is Nobiru News, who captured this stunning picture. Not sure where it's from, but it was from Nobiru News Channel. So please subscribe to this great guy. Uh, he's just got a great program, and look at this picture here, right? <laughs> and uh, you know what? Let's just—I want to know what that is. I, I'm going to offer my opinion on that. Okay, so I took this picture and threw it in a little art program, and basically, with this art program, I can get the spherical disc, and I'm going to show you that how perfect this planetary shadow sits here. In case you know, this darkness here and here. I believe is the shadow of a planet and we're looking down right at its tail like it's blasting us with a rocket as it's leaving Earth as it's sweeping by and uh, where have we seen this tail before and these shadows before well let's uh, take a look so we've seen this several times this time we caught the shadowy planet behind it some of could be planet X I believe has the longer tail and the uh, Kachina has the short one so we've seen this uh, a, this huge tail. They think this was probably Planet X because look how long this thing was, right? This was from the Dave Dobbs object. So, and then we also caught that shadowy object on the Newmar Station from the South Pole. And here we see this massive shadow that we could see the building shadow behind it. The camera, hey, look at this thing come in, right? It's just crazy. We saw it there. We're seeing this thing show up everywhere. And we even saw this show up in the German hotel web camera also. And I guarantee you that is not Photoshop because I'll go to this live right now. So here it is in this German web camera we could see that it showed up very quickly and left just as fast so it's fairly fast moving planet the same planet and see this object right here <laughs> and by the way all over Europe at this October 31st all of Europe had pink squat skies at the same time so not to be a dead horse but I do want you to check out the length of that tail where have we seen that before well how about on the Dill Martin channel? This is the best streaming footage. This isn't even time lapse. See the leading edge of this. We were just obscuring it through the fake chemtrails and the cloud seeding and weather manipulation to block this. That's the main purpose. Folks, that is not a hologram. Holograms don't cause earthquakes. <laughs> And again, this is streaming footage. Look, because if it was time lapse, things might go a lot quicker, like hitting fast forward. And you could see it's outpacing the chemtrail planes as well. But I will speed this up so you can see his transition all the way in front of the camera. Actually, this is the normal speed. Look at that, just nice and easy. It'd probably be a little smoother transition if we had. Look at the shadow this thing leaves, too. It's not spooky, right? So let me speed this up so we can see this thing transition. Anyways, Dill Martin. He hasn't posted a video in, like, over a year. Don't know where he's at. But look at this footage that he has. I'm going to skip forward a little bit and just 
This thing just leaves this, the whole camera scene. Crazy, huh? And now, how about this one, folks? Now, we keep seeing what this giant orb in the sky. Is it an artificial moon from China? Uh, it's possible, because we know they're going to launch one. Yeah, just check out. China launches a new moon to light the sky, but look at this. And... Well, let's hear what he has to say. He is shocked now. This is going on five minutes and 29 seconds. This so this is from Dre Reed's channel, in case I men mentioned it. Check this out. Oh, man, this is insane. I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. It's like two suns. I'm literally witnessing two suns. Right, from Detroit, another Michigan. Sun is stationary, and it's another sun, like, kind of moving. I don't... Okay. So, to make this easier, I took the liberty to download the whole video. Let's look at it from Let's look at it from a video clip. This is going to make it's far more obvious. So, here we can see as I scroll this forward and back, we can see this object transition in front of the sun. Look at that. And see it here? We've got two distinct light sources, and you would think this object here where my cursor is, is the sun and this smaller object transitioning in front of it. That went past it. Okay, not the moon, because the moon does not go left or right. It kind of pretty much goes up and down, right? And it doesn't outpace the sun. <laughs> you can tell it's not a lens flare. Look at it. It's behind the chemtrail clouds or the TR-3B artificial cloud system that they have. Yeah, look at that. And we've seen that once again before. So if you want to present these kind of videos, to hold your camera sideways. It'll take up the whole screen instead of this little shot. It looks a lot better. So hold your phone sideways. We wouldn't be looking at this. You can tell you used a cell phone. Then we've seen this before also. And this is from Zinke's channel. And I will show you the original footage. A lot of moving around on the camera. But I was able to capture a moment of it to see, to see what she was seeing. So let me bring this out. Not by photo manipulation, but just going back and forth in time to show we have two distinct light sources. See here is the big sun here and this transitioning orb, right, moving with it. Despite all the moving around, we could see it moved into and in front of the sun. So I think it is a... We have a, not only a sun simulator, but I think we got more, 12 of them, maybe one for every um, code. Every region would have one, and then it's got to go through a relay. But look how dark it is on the side of the cloud, too. Kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, that's uh, absolutely not normal, right? So there you have it, folks. So thank you for supporting my channel. We're looking forward to the live call-in program through Skype, where the Skype number scrolls across the bottom. And so be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Nibiru News and Dre Reed's channel and Rebecca Zinke for catching this. Um, so we showed you how you can pull us out and just show how absurd... People don't just pull out cameras and catch her normal stuff unless it's abnormal, bright or moving. Yeah. So, again, copy, like, and share. Have a blessed day.